One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a really nice little 1985 Chevrolet Cavalier in the sedan model. A little 2.0 liter four cylinder fuel injected, nice little gas mile per gallon MPG cars. These things will just keep on trucking. Um, I got a guy here on YouTube, 84 Skylark, Skyhawk. Were the two doors of these the same as the Skyhawk? I don't know. This little platform has a pretty dif different suspension. A lot of people have them wood trim pieces on the back of these calves too. Uh, well, not to be cavalier about it, but I've got a nice little cavalier for you. Nathan, 406-544-6919. And that's the once around. And I'll ship this anywhere in the world. I'm going to go ahead and start showing you underneath the, blah, 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 the underneath and all that. Nice, good condition. Takes a second for my low light level adjustment. It's in great shape. Motor pan. You can see the training pan's in great shape, too. Um, not all wore out. Not all tore up. Um, underneath it's in great shape. Still got good factory undercoating on it and such. Come on now, low level light adjustment. Looks to have been upkept and maintained. You can see that tranny pan is just absolutely beautiful around there. And like I say in all these videos, it's the first place I like to drop down and look is underneath. And after a once around to kind of get an idea of the car, you like to know how it runs and stuff. And well, you can't tell just by starting it up. You need to see how it's been running. Underneath will tell you a little bit of that, and I kind of try to start with the cleaner ones. Well, that's your once around. That's your underneath around. Now for the reach around. Gonna go show you around back. It was painted at some point. Had a little chip there. Now the paint looks in great shape. It really is a great paint job. And the water there. And the lenses are in great shape. 2.0 fuel injection. Extra piece there. Oh, it was probably these caps or something that are gone. Little wood piece strats. It's got kind of you could tie stuff up on that trunk, man. Going down the sides, it's really, really straight. I mean it seems to be a very well cared for car. Ding ding ding. Ding 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 ding. There's three or four little dings there. And I'll get you from a different angle here. Just really can't. Oh, a little one right there. Really can't hardly see them, man. But there's one, two, three. There's some dings. Oh, a tiny one there. And there. A little chippage where it's coming off right around that. And I'm just 100% up front. I like to show you everything I can and go from there. A little gouge in it. Right there. Now the car hasn't been used that much. It just really hasn't. Uh, mirror got a little fading right there. Roof shiny in good shape. The car's a nice, great running car. It does drive nice. I like the way these little Chevys drive. Still kind of zippy. Little chips there. Little stress marks there. Front down spoiler there is all good. Chip behind the plate. Chrome could use some shining. Fly on the wall. Who was it? That was ACDC. A little bit of a tear in the bumper right there. A couple tiny things you just not really notice. Little chips right along this. But it's the overspray. But they got a little bit on that when they painted it. And I could actually sit here and chip it all off if you wanted to. Yep. And I didn't do that, as you can tell. Chip there, there, there. Actually, it looks like somebody BB gunned that over almost. Pimply ding. I don't know if you can even see that one. Same type thing right there. Great shape. Samantha actually brought me up the auto check to where I can show you everything on it. So we got that now. Now the door handle works. But that little piece of wire in there, little 
Everything works on it great, though. A uh, little overspray on that piece of trim. And you can see right around the trim here, we got a couple issues. Some issues. Right there, there, and there. Nothing big, just kind of little chippage type areas, I guess you'd say. Um, and that's about all I can say. Oh, around the window. A couple chips. Now this is a one or a two owner car. Um, I think it's one. Chip on the bumper there. Check the eBay ad. I say all that. Oh, did I show you under the back? I don't think I actually dropped down and did that. I like the the way these things are set up in the back end with the suspension and such nice car, clean car ready to drive now you get a one owner, two owner, low mile car like this, I think this has got 120 on it 123 they run better, they drive better they've been maintained better um, at the same time it's not the silver bullet for never having a car problem You'll blow a hose or a belt or a starter or a alternator or fuel pump or God knows what at some point. Um, next year, next week, next month, tomorrow, I don't know. Um, easy stuff to work on though. These cars are really simple and cheap to work on and very reliable. You don't break much stuff on them. So, that is the 85 Cavalier. i got to double check my auto check. 85 Cavalier CS. Nice good score on it and all. I'm going to go ahead and hop in and take you for a test drive. Chippity chip chip. So you know. Nothing obstructive of view or anything like that. They did actually... Wow, I'll change the miles on 7607. It has 23 on it now. Come on now. Come on now, show everybody get a picture while I'm at it. And 124. So I've driven it a couple thousand miles in the last many years. Uh, so that's interesting also. Jensen Radio has been added after market. They ought to like that. AC. It has AC and all. A unique car where you got AC and you got crank windows so ain't nothing to really break this AC is really cool I don't think it's ice ice cold it's not ice ice baby but it's it's nice and cool it's cold it's not ice cold could use a char it's nice it's stinking 90 out it is very nice to have it on right now put it that way this car gets it man I just put down about well, third throttle, and you're up to the speed limit. Like it ain't no thing, just right now. We're gonna slow it down to less than half the speed limit and give it a round the corner little upshift. Oh man, here we go, getting out of my Cavalier's way. About two third pedal, and buddy, you're gonna be speeding if you don't just let out of it. And it's a gas sipper. You ain't burning stinking four miles a gallon like my my old Firebird got when I was a kid. Very nice driving car, and not a lot to go wrong on it with the options. I like having the non-power windows, non-stuff like that on a car like this. But I do enjoy the AC, and like I say, it feels good right now. I'm going to go up and show you the insides. We'll show you under the hood. All that good stuff. Blinker did not go off when I turned a U-turn there, so I think you might have to manual off it. No jokes on that one, okay? And... Cornering. Oh, it's the Porsche of Chevy's, buddy. Put your foot down that thing, that thing just goes. And I do get on it a little bit for you to let you know, hey, this thing shifts, baby. I don't know what the fuel rating is on these. How about a lot?
nice day, beautiful day. Check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. And not only that, I've got a, another channel on YouTube here. This channel is Cereal Marshmallows. I got another one, it's um, Stock Gambles. I just got that open. You can check that out and see my stock ones on there. And that's that. I also got the Beagle website up. There's Breeder the Beagle. Hey, Breeder. And beaglespocket.com. You can check that out. I just got that up and resolved to the domain yesterday. This car is in great shape. A little dust on the dash. Not all cracked up, though. It is all it's cracked up to be, being cavalier about it, but it's not all cracked up. I gotta get these out before I give you a crazy moment. There is a couple little cracks on the other side. Remind me to show you them. Ha! Here's what you're dealing with under here. Now, I could get this fixed very cheap. Um, it's not a lot of money at all to get this done. Um, and it take about a week or so. Just on a car like this, that's not really a super expensive car or nothing, I don't usually do it. And like I say, the car was a different color and you can tell in the jams here. But as far as door panels, as far as interior, the carpets and stuff are in good shape. You've got some tears in the seat there, obviously. Um, and other than that, I mean, it's just a super clean little car. These mats are just, obviously, I don't think factory. And you can see how their color of the carpet is more true to what it was under those mats. So they've done some protecting top of the seats are torn. Now see, basically what my guy would do to this is replace these middle pieces. Just those two middle pieces, that's all you need. Everything else is tight and nice, and it's the same in the front. And it's just not that expensive of an ordeal. So let me get you these view in the trunk. Now the stainless is a little cor not corroded at all, just faded, and you can shine on that till your heart's content but the bottom pieces are good. The tops caught a little more sun or something. And like I say, a couple areas where there's just some overspray from the paint. And a guy could actually sit here and pick it all off. I'm not going to do it. Ding right there. And the reason I'm not going to do it is because it adds to the cost of the car. I mean, truthfully, a guy should spray this black. It looks so nice. Add to it. I'm not fixing it up. I'm not restoring this. The seal's in great shape. Great shape. Um, I don't know why they changed it from that yellow. I sure like that yellow. I guess it's a, obviously a personal thing and might not be the most popular color in the world. But this one on our car guy likes it. You know, I gotta put this around my neck just to where I can uncover that. And you'll have to excuse me for doing this during my video, but some of the hardcore Chevy guys, hell, any kind of somebody that likes original stuff might like to see this. And I've got a couple smudged codes there on the right, but kind of cool. Still got all the codes and everything on it. The what I'm peeling off there is just the backing of this main carpet here. Great shape under here, all the... Man, it's nice. I mean, of course, this is not factory carpet. There's a factory carpet. That's what's coming off. Right there. I think that's the factory stuff. And they put this in over there. Why'd they put that in? That's ugly. Add some padding, I guess. This was on the wheel. I just left it in case you want to put it back. I'm used to a Mercedes or such where you don't have to unlock the trunk. It's just always unlocked. So I freak out about leaving the keys in it. And the cost of doing something like this, um, I'll bet you it cost you 300 bucks to do all for all the four seats. One, two, three, four. Door handles in great shape.
This side's got the split going down the middle. And see, the sides are in great shape. And then, this is a little harder to show. But the backs are in pretty good shape. I'm not going to unwrap and tear the seat. These backs aren't the problem. The, the, the butt parts are. For lack of proper termage there. There's a that crack in the dash. I told you to remind me of that. Yeah, you didn't. So there's a crack there and a little one right up there. And that's pretty much it on the dash. Uh, super clean. Got an extra piece in here. Probably for something that... Not probably. Definitely for something that covers something up. And I think I showed you the auto check report in it. Um, horn. The horn doesn't beep. Um, probably a fuse. Haven't looked into it a whole lot. Well, that's that's that. And I don't know where I clipped this in, but oneownercarguy.com. The carpets are in okay shape, and like I say, these mats aren't original. Underneath is BAM! Tan, the way it should be. Now this would make a good candidate to dye the interior with that spray dye. It's like four bucks a can. You could probably use two cans in this and it would do it. Um, but that's all up to you. I mean, it's just me. I just drive the heck out of this car. Console shift. Um, give me a hand and unpop the hood if you could. A little paint in the jam from previous and such. And I showed you in the trunk. Um, it's got a look at the side titties on these Firestone. Side titties all over. Just a little bit of dry rot in the sides of them. I don't like these 100%. Um, the tread on them is beautiful. Yeah, they just put them on. They probably put them on about a couple years ago there. Every one of them, man, they just put them on. Just a teeny bit of dry rot. And probably not bad for around town. I've drove it around town just fine, and I will. It's not no problem. Um, can you back this up for me? And it's just hard also to get the right lighting. I want you to see everything. Any damage, any of anything. And sometimes it's easier with just a little bit of light. Sometimes it's easier with a little less. Got it backed up and in a different light. <clears throat> you can see that the under the hood has got this the other color. You can also see that it's very clean. Fuel injected 2.0. These are great little power plants for these. Um, get great fuel economy. And are just stinking bulletproof. They run forever. Look how clean this one is too. And like I say, I try to make sure and show you just everything that pans. Oh man. This car is clean. Just all there is to it, it's clean. Okay. Hood insulation and such up there, all in great condition. That's about what I can think of showing you on this one. You got your test drive. You're swinging from my neck here. Got that done. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. I can't think of anything else to tell you about this car. Check out my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. If you like Beagles, check out beagles.pocket.com. And you can see all my little puppy beagles. My other channel, Stock Gambles. Check that out. Thanks for watching. Um, import, export, I'll ship this right to your port. Also, hardener.com. God, I got a lot of stuff to throw at you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.